Yo, I just recorded one video, but then I realized my microphone was muted, so that's completely pointless. But what I want to talk about pretty much is just life. A uh, completely uncut, raw video. I'm just gonna, I literally just click record. I wasn't planning on making a video or anything, but I realized that I'm trying to get more active at doing this and more involved, and I just procrastinated every time. I find myself procrastinating these sort of activities that I tell myself I'm going to do that would be productive and useful for my life and I feel like a lot of people do that and I'm just going to stop doing that but anyway I just want to talk about life and I've got work tomorrow, it's Monday morning tomorrow which is everyone's favourite day of the week, you know everyone who's stuck doing their job, obviously I'm being sarcastic but <sighs> That's why I'm recording now, so I can just completely watch back, and I probably look like death. I don't know, the way the light's hitting me, it looks like I've got like a black eye or something. I, I promise that's not, it's just dark circles. I don't know why I always have dark circles, even though I sleep reasonably well. Maybe it's from spending time on devices before bed. I wouldn't say I'm any worse than the average person, though it might just be something about being white and genetic. My mum has, has it really bad, so probably just a genetic thing. But anyway... Monday tomorrow, back to work, and you know from Monday to Friday I don't really have much time to do anything. You know I wake up at 5.15 because I start work at 5.30 and I get back home at about 5.30 so that's 12 and a half hours of my day gone just for work. Monday to Thursday and on Friday I've got two hours extra in my day. So. If you also divide up that time that I've got spare in my day, I've got about five hours free. If you consider that I sleep for seven hours, twelve and a half hours of work, that actually, sorry, not five hours, four and a half hours. Let's say the, the, the way I spend that time, I've got an hour and a half to go to the gym and shower. I've got an hour to eat and prepare lunch for the next day. So that's two and a half hours gone. That leaves me with two hours. But I usually spend about an hour with my family also. I'd say roughly. So that leaves me with one hour spare per day, Monday to Friday, two extra hours on Friday. So that equates to a total of seven hours, oh, no, sorry, seven. Yes, seven hours per week, roughly, from Monday to Friday is all time I have spare for, free for myself to reflect on my mind. And I often find that I spend that time doing absolutely nothing. Because by the time you spend all the time doing these things, you just don't want to do anything. And you often find that you waste time here looking at this online, looking at that, talking to people, you know. And you just realise you have less and less time available to do the things that you want to or need to. And, you know, it's tough. Honestly, it wears down on your mental health. Like, I'm sure anyone watching this right now, they look at me and they're like, fuck, this guy looks fucked. And, I don't know, I, I work out regularly. I like to say I'm pretty fair, I'm a young person, but I look, like, broken, I would say. Just because I have to go to work tomorrow. I know a lot of people will say you're just moaning and all that, but it's just, maybe it's just because I'm getting, I'm accepting the harsh realities of life that this is going to, this is what life is like. I've been working for, like, almost four years now since I left school. You know, I'm an electrician, or almost qualified electrician, and... You know, I'm not a massive fan of what I do. There are different times where I enjoy what I do. I just don't enjoy the schedule. I don't enjoy having to work for necessarily for other people, or at least the people I'm working for currently. I'm not super happy doing that, you know? I would rather be doing my own thing, but obviously I need to get experience and be qualified and, you know, be able to do what I'm supposed to be doing. But that comes with time, you know? and. That's why hopefully one day I can escape from this, you know, and, and this is why I make videos. I'm making these videos to document how my life is going, to be able to look back and reflect, you know, which I don't even have much time to. Honestly, I've barely watched, really watched any of my videos to see what exactly I was doing and how I was doing. But it, I think it's more looking back on a grand scheme, let's say four years from now, and I'm still recording these videos. It'd be interesting to look back and see what I was going but also to help people out there because I you know there are some people out there who watch my videos and they see someone who's sort of relatable 
and it's I think it's good to know at least for me I like to know that there's people out there in a similar situation and learn what they do to be able to cope with this because I don't drink I don't I don't do any drugs or anything I do uh, like some casual gaming now I've got like a I just built a PC recently I'm getting into streaming some games at some point you know just a few hours a week it's good for so it's good for my mental health it's better than abusing any sort of substances you know and it's something I enjoy so you know alongside with staying active staying fit I don't think it's a terrible thing for your mind but yeah I just I'm hoping one day it gets better you know another thing that adds on makes it more difficult is obviously um, I wouldn't say obviously for someone who's new watching but I have a long distance relationship that's been going on for three years at distance uh, at long distance and for over four years now in total so that's also fun you know something that's really good for your mental health is being able to live with your partner sleep with your partner cook or eat food together have you know spend time together which obviously I'm not able to I'm just happy at least I've got my family you know I'm staying with my family so I'm happy about that at least but it still gets lonely it still gets tough you know that's life out here I'm not trying to say I'm like fucking depressed or anything I'm definitely not but I'm just saying like just saying life's issues you know but yeah I hope someone <coughs> shit got something in my throat I hope someone out there finds some value